Hey everybody, it's me. How we doing out there? It's LaDonna, and as always, I am living the dream. Hope you're living yours too. Um, I'm coming to you live again from my backyard. <laughs> um, uh, sorry guys, I really do miss doing this. And we're working on the studio. We're not. That's a lie. And I'm glad we didn't, because we actually had the entire basement. Uh, the sewage went crazy, and it backed up, and so it was a shitty situation, if you know what I mean. And so it was pretty disgusting. So I'm really glad the studio wasn't set up and all my stuff got, well, shit on. That would have been bad. Um, that's all fixed now and we're going to work on it. Or my husband keeps saying that, but I'm, I'm not sure because his recliner, <laughs> his recliner is where he wants to be. I keep telling him, you're going to come home one day and that damn chair is going to be gone. You're just going to pull up to a bunch of springs and ashes in the front fucking yard. Because that's all he does now. It's like him in this chair. Okay. Okay. Keep playing with me. Keep toying with me, boy. Anyway, um, I'd like to ask everyone right now, if you have a second, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, just hit all the buttons. There's a like, there's a share, there's a subscribe, there's all the things. Hit them all. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like me. But I can't imagine any reason why you wouldn't like me. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, Olympics. The Olympics are going on. I don't know if you guys follow them or watch them. I do not. And I will tell you why. This is why. This year I've probably, probably paid more attention Wow, to them because Snoop's involved and he's hilarious. But I find myself sitting on my couch with my... Miller Lite, a bag of fucking Doritos, 100 pounds overweight, watching these athletes like, yeah, he should have landed that. Or, you know, <laughs> yeah, she, she, she should have, she should have nailed that. No, bitch, no, these are the best of the best. I couldn't, I can't do a fucking somersault and I'm going to try to judge these people. Now, all of a sudden, I'm a gymnast coach. No. So I don't watch it because it just makes me feel bad about my look. See, as I'm talking about this. The turkey necks are going. I don't have any advice for the Olympians. None. But I will tell you, everybody's like getting, like freaking out about this break dancing thing. Why? Let them break dance. Who gives a shit? And it, so on Facebook, I got to tell you what's funny is, you know, school just restarted and we'll get into that in just a minute. But it's always the same people that you see post about. Oh, school's restarting, you know, don't bully kids and don't do that and this, that, and another. And then five minutes later, they're posting memes, talking mad shit on these breakdancers. So it's okay for us to bully breakdancers that are in the Olympics. In the Olympics. But we don't want it, see, we don't want our kids to bully each other. If we are the worst. Adults are the worst bullies there are. I swear they are. And if you work in the industry I work in, you would know that. But yeah, I just find myself like... Or, especially like in the Winter Olympics, I think, with the ice skating, I I want them to fall, and that's terrible. Like, that's bad. Like, that's the Tanya in me, I guess. I don't know what's happening there, but mm, I'm not okay. I want to be like, damn, she made it. Damn, she made it. That's bad. It's bad. So, anyway, um, what else has been going on? Like I said, school started back up. We're two days in. They've already pissed me off like three times. They, There's no logic at that school. None. Well, I'm talking about the high school right now. The middle school hasn't pissed me off yet, but probably coming soon. But the high school, if it, they could do it wrong, they've done it. So there's that. But whatever. Whatever. What's crazy about school is you pay for them to go to school, and then you have to buy all the supplies for every kid that goes there. Plus, like, I don't know, some fucking tile and a broom and a mop and, like, a TV and a projector and anything else. Anything else they want. I, I They're not even shy about it anymore. They're like, yeah, I need some Tide. What? For what? I need, you know, some, give me some gain flings. Call it a day. No, fuck you. I'm not getting you shit. And I didn't this year. My kids got, like, notebooks and folders deuces they need something you want them to bring out crayons in high school you send me something home they fucking colored on okay 
Send me that. And then I will send you some crayons. Until then, no, pimp. No. Not even a little. I've lost their damn minds. But anywho, um, what else? What else do I have on the old noggin these days? Oh, just another public service announcement. I am aware that I've mentioned this before, but it's not getting through to many people. So I just want to reiterate in the best way I know how that I don't give one single fuck about your allergies, your food allergies. I don't care. If you have these allergies, you should know what you can and can't order. I don't know why it's immediately on my shoulders. I don't. But I have thought about designing a special questionnaire for customers that you give to them, you know, like in a doctor's office. You have this allergy. Do you have that allergy? You know, do you suffer from this? Do you suffer from that? Have you ever actually gone into anaphylactic shock? Or is this just some shit you made up between you and your doctor? So you can feel fucking special at a fucking restaurant. I'm pretty sure that's the case in most cases. I go up to a table the other day. First thing out of her mouth. I, Hi, how are you? I am allergic to gluten and I'm allergic to this. And I... Good for you. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> like, good to meet ya. I don't care. I, I don't, I'm not your dietitian, lady. I am here to take your order, yours. You know what you can eat and what you can't eat. So don't come at me with, do you have gluten-free this? Read the menu. Does it say gluten-free on there anywhere? No. So there's a good chance it's not. And we don't have some weird secret stash of gluten in the back where you have to tell us, like you think we're gonna sneak it in there. Cause, oh. And then they'll be like, I want no tomato. But then they'll throw in, I'm allergic. Like if I'm gonna fuck your order up, and bring you tomatoes, I'm still going to have to replace it whether you're allergic or not. <laughs> like, So, that's not necessary. It's not. So just keep that shit to yourself. Nobody cares. <sighs> but uh, back to my questionnaire. So, I don't know, and I'm sure there's plenty of places that do this, but I've noticed it at Dairy Queen. Not that I ever go there. Um, there's a, they have like a disclaimer, and it's like, this store has, you know, like nuts and different things and it might come in contact with your food. You know, la di da di da So, I like that disclaimer, only I think I'm going to use a different one. And mine's going to say, our nuts might go in your mouth. So, you may want to like look around your plate and make sure nothing's on there that's foreign or weird or that you're going to die from because... There's a chance they could make it there. That's all I'm saying. We don't even really have nuts. We have pecans. But that's it. But it's, again, we're not back there plotting. We're going to put nuts in their stuff just to fucking kill them. We're not actually trying to kill people. We're not. Well, they're not. I, on the other hand, have my moments. But anyhow, just understand... If you don't know what you can eat, I certainly don't know what you can eat. And don't do this just to put it on my shoulders. Like, I get what you're doing. You're passing the buck. That way, if you something happens and you swell up or you get sick later, you can say, Oh, I told that waitress and she's too stupid. I am not the stupid one here, lady. You have the out Or man. I Very rarely do I have a man tell me that he's allergic to stuff. Very rarely. They might ask if we have this or that, but they don't they don't have to give me their entire medical history and life story. They just say, hey, do you have gluten-free bread? No? Okay. Cool. Not, well, do you have the do you have this or do you have that? Do you have anything I can have? I don't know. I myself am not allergic to gluten, obviously. Or anything else, obviously. So I have no idea if we have anything you can have. Oh. <sighs> Pretty sure a knuckle sandwich is gluten-free. And give one of those a try. So, anyway. There's that. <laughs> um, What else? God, there's so much going on. I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I get so jumbled in my head. I don't have my studio. I don't have my notes. I don't have my computer. I have nothing. I'm literally free-balling it out here, guys. I have no idea what's happening. Um, I'm just trying to come up with anything that runs through this brain of mine. And God help you all on that one. Oh, like I said, kids are back to school. Kids, kids. You know, I know people try to prepare you for having kids, but 
They don't. Nobody's ever prepared. I'm going to write a book. I, I'm going to write the first real book. It's just going to be called The Truth. The Truth About Children. They're all crazy. They're nuts. The stuff they do is beyond. I don't even know where they get ideas like this. And then I realized we all did the same dumb crap. <sighs> I don't know. The world we live in, getting crazier and crazier, I can tell you that. Uh, these kids do some stupid, stupid, stupid things. I look at some of the stuff my kids watch on TV or on the whatever, their phones, their bullshit. What? The other day they literally got me to play Roblox. I literally, we broke into somebody's house apparently and we just jumped around for like 10 minutes and they're laughing like hysterically and I'm still trying to figure out what we're doing. I'm like, this is this is what you do? Like, this is it? This is the whole game? Yeah, they just thought it was the greatest thing ever. I'm like, no, this is really stupid. So, I don't know. I don't know if I got the full effect. But I'm hoping, because I never want to play it again. That's <laughs> all I can tell you. We can bond in other ways, please. Please, let's bond in other ways. Anyway, but that. I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys really are doing well. I really do hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Especially share and like. That really gets me back in the the rhythm of things. There's a algorithm. That's the word. See, I got to bone up even on this stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing. But I am going to try to do some reaction. I don't know if I can see my computer out here because of the light. But I'm going to try and see if I can make this work. I'm going to try something. But I'm, I promise you I'm going to try to get back on a little more. So until then... Guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, love ya. Peace out. Bye.